Introduction Hello friends, I am Rocky. Let me tell you something about myself. I wake up early in the morning. The rising sun and melodious chirping of birds make me feel happy. These things start my day. Now let me tell you something about my daily routine work. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Know all about the child's activities throughout the day. Tell time in hour. Perform the steps in a sequential way for any given activity. No duration of time to complete a particular activity. My day begins with the rising sun. I wake up early in the morning and greet my parents. Then I start my routine work. First I brush my teeth and eat breakfast with my family members. Then I dress up for school. My brother goes to the school with me. I study and play with my friends in school. My school closes at noon. I come back to my home at afternoon. I eat my lunch and take a small afternoon nap to relax my body. In the evening, I go to the garden to play with my friends. And then, my mother helps me in my studies to finish my homework. I eat my dinner with my family. Then, I go to sleep at night. As the nursery rhyme says, Tick-tock goes the clock, hanging on the wall. Tick-tock goes the clock, telling the time to all. Tick-tock goes the clock, it's time for you to go to bed. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Tock sounds the clock. The clock tells us the time. There are twelve equal divisions in a clock. They are named as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. The clock has two hands. The longer hand is the minute hand, whereas the shorter hand is the hour hand. The hour hand tells about the time in hours, while minute hand tells about the time in minutes. Look at the hour and the minute hand in the clock. Here the hour hand is at 7 and the minute hand is at 12. Therefore, we refer the time as 7 o'clock. Again, the hour hand is at 12 and the minute hand is at 12. Therefore, we refer the time as 12 o'clock. Can you tell me how much time we take to blink our eyes? Yes, it takes only a few seconds. Similarly, when we touch a hot object, we take our hand back in few seconds. But when we go for a morning prayer in a school, it takes couple of minutes rather than few seconds. Similarly, it takes hours to take sleep at night. So we can say that some activities in our daily life take more time than the others. When we do any work in our daily life, we have to do it in a sequential manner. Example, for wearing shoes, we can't tie our laces before putting our feet. First, we have to wear socks so that we can wear our shoes properly. Then we put our feet in shoes and then we tie the shoe laces. All these steps are performed in a sequential manner to wear it. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The various activities in a child's day. A clock helps us to read time. Events happen in particular sequence. Every event takes time. Some events take longer time than the other. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.